Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie a variation of the chain knot. Now, the chain knot has been around for a really long time, especially in the in the casting and the jigging um, scene. It is one of those knots that actually acts like a spring. There's there's uh, there's more than one, but this is the most famous one. The the knot itself is very easy to tie. It's just kind of time consuming. So. Especially on a cold day when you're shore fishing or when you're worst. If you're on a cold day on a boat, uh, kind of challenging to tie there with cold fingers. So the most important thing here is the, is the way you start the knot. Okay. And this variation makes it so that it's easy. So I'm going to show that to you now. Uh, there's a lot of advantages of using a chain knot. Uh, I think I've mentioned earlier that it actually acts like a spring. But more than that, because it's basically just a series of half hitches, it's not really introducing a lot of friction onto itself. And that's probably one of the biggest advantages of this knot. Okay, so uh, for the purpose purposes of this demonstration, we're, we're going to be using this white cord. Okay, so it's... Uh, quite visible all right so we're gonna be using this big ring right here so that you can you can actually see better now how I do it is I double up like so okay and then just pass everything through the ring like that and then it'll form a double loop right there and the most important thing here is that it shouldn't cross it shouldn't be like that when you tighten it it should be like that okay very very important and, and and from there all you do is really just a series of half hitches but not just a series of half hitches what you need is actually alternating half hitches so you tighten that up like so so that was under you go over like so then you go under again tighten this up over under as you can see it's just really a series of alternating half hitches now can you use just the uh, overhead half hitches yes no problem it's really up to you okay now once you get it done to the length that you want and sometimes you want it to be an inch or two inches or you could do this however long you want okay the last step is to actually have two or three half hitches that's the normal way okay so for me what I do just so the tag end is inside of the knot okay so let's do one two three four just four for the purposes of this demonstration what I do okay now watch carefully okay is I do that but instead of tightening it I go one two three Four. okay you'll know when it's time to pull and tighten it because there's a loop that forms there okay and then all you have to do is just pull tight like so and you'll end up with something like that now the most important thing here is your tag end is actually inside and it's not exposed outside which means that when you're casting out or uh, actually just uh, there's very few people that would would uh, reach this knot and put it on the guides but the 
the biggest advantage of this is that your tag end is inside and it's protected and it kind of won't unravel because as you're pulling this it tightens here okay so they're going the opposite directions now as i mentioned it acts like a spring so you you will see it compress and decompress as you pull it so yeah kind of acts as a spring and will help you while you're fighting that fish especially when you're using braid there's no stretch on the braid so introducing something like this actually helps you with the uh, shock absorbing function that it has all right so there we go i know i didn't I, I think in that video i didn't i didn't really show this but this is called a risotto wrap you could also use this to finish off your fg knots okay so from here it's just a matter of actually cutting and leave a small tag end there okay bend the knot like so and then take your lighter and light this up well if it works okay so go like that until it forms a ball and then just like that so that this part here won't slide out okay that's it it's very simple it's very fast very effective and i like the fact that there's actually two lines that are grabbing here very good advantage of this of course is that when the fish actually kind of bites and mix it because of your length it doesn't really get affected as much whereas if you have a short not boom it just cuts off so a little bit more protection the uh, shock absorbing power overall a very very good knot and something that you should and one that you should be using in your system as well all right so a uh, very short video that's it for now thanks for watching if you haven't yet by the way please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one class dismissed